Hey, what's going on everybody? Back at the hillside garden at my grandfather's house. Uh, this will be a third update. I uh, showed you a couple updates beforehand. Uh, if you haven't seen those, go back and check them out. See how I set this up and kind of a little backstory on that. So those of you who have, uh, who have tuned in have noticed that this is my little woodland test plot for peppers. And you can tell these guys here are, I'm almost going to say these three right here or four are definitely the ghost peppers I planted. And you can see the varying size. This little guy here is not doing so well. Um, these are some of the banana peppers right here, which are doing fantastic. All the way down this row. Uh, a couple are doing better than others, but overall very healthy. And uh, check this guy here. It's one of my mystery plants. Uh, huge leaves on it, just like the ones that were in my greenhouse at my home. So that's definitely not... a just a fluke. I think that's just the genetic quality. But as these are the woodland plants, uh, there is some insect damage here. You're gonna have some slug damage. This leaf looks like it's uh, not healthy for some reason. But anyways, overall I'm pretty pleased so far. These plants are doing uh, fairly well, considering the, the uh, neglect and the lack of fertilizer and stuff like that. But check it out guys down there if you can see that. It's a banana pepper, sweet banana pepper on this plant. So at least we do have some of our first fruits. Uh, there are flowers on most of these guys down here, especially this big one right there is covered in flowers. That's another banana pepper. So no doubt this is gonna start uh, start producing a little bit of something at the very least. Uh, if we can kind of zoom in right here, of course the leaf's in the way. Right there, this is a baby. I wanna say this is another uh, banana pepper right here on the edge. Right there is forming. So we do have some uh, some developments here. Uh, I think some of these plants are a little bit more spindly just because this is on the edge of the woods and doesn't get you know full on bright sunlight. But other than that, the plants are healthy. The weeds are actually not really a problem as I've only been pulling weeds here, I think three weeks ago and there's minimal weeds growing. So that's totally cool. But I want to show you one last thing right here, which is uh, something you might want to just check out. So hold on. All right, now right here, look at that bad boy. Yes, that is a ghost pepper, a fully ripened ghost pepper. Now, this plant is every bit of, I don't know, if you can get out of the frame, six, five and a half, six inches tall. Uh, it has, the leaves are all chewed up. I'm not even sure there's a growing tip on this anymore. So this plant, because it knew that it was at the end of its life cycle, put out one flower, one pod, and ripened it faster than most of the ghost peppers at my house in my actual garden where it's being taken care of and fertilized and watered daily, et cetera, et cetera. So yeah, if you see this, this is not a good sign. Uh, I'm hoping this plant will pull through. So I'm gonna go ahead and harvest this today just to kind of get this energy. Well, I'll take it off. I need two hands for that. I'm gonna go ahead and take that off to save the energy for the plant is putting out towards this. So yeah, uh, that's actually kind of a negative sign. If you see your plants starting to, uh, starting to produce really heavily early on and they're not looking very healthy, that could be a sign that your plant doesn't have a lot of energy and that it feels like it's gonna die. So this is a desperation Hail Mary throw right here. It's gonna put off one pod. Hopefully the seeds ripen. Hopefully the next generation is gonna be able to survive. So. That to me is what I think this plant is kind of indicating. But you know, if you look at the plant right next to it, another ghost pepper, super healthy, super awesome, doing just fine. Does not have any flowers on it just yet because it's uh, it's happy. You know, it's, at least that's how I'm gonna interpret that. Some more plants next to it. But uh, right here, check it out guys. Some more flowers. This right here, the top of this plant, right next door is total bunch of flower clusters. So they're about to start blooming. So yeah, I think this uh, overall is becoming more of a success than I had anticipated, but I'll show you some of the failures here. Another pepper plant is not doing so well. This little guy here is covered in insect damage. Not doing so healthy. It's, it's not dying. There's little leaf hoppers, little green little leaf hoppers on there doing the number on it. Now look at this guy here. So something, this plant here is completely dead. That looks like some kind of a virus of some kind. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this off because well, it's just not going to be very beneficial. So that's going to be taken out and tossed away. But this little guy right here, you know, chewed all the pieces. But it does have some newer clean growth on it. So I'm not sure what happened with this, but it's trying to rebound. This guy here next to it right here, a little better angle. Same boat, kind of torn apart. But like I said, right next door 
What do we have? A nice big healthy ghost pepper plant. Over here, some nice healthy banana pepper plants doing great. Actually have very uh, very little insect damage on that side, so it might be something to do with a little more sunlight they receive. Don't really know. Uh, this little guy here between the weeds, if you can even tell. <laughs> that is a pepper plant, kind of. So that one's dead. And I want to say there was one right there, which of course is dead. So there's something about this section right here. I think it's a uh, higher insect damage, maybe less sunlight. Not really sure, but looking at it from this angle, overall plants are doing fine, pretty healthy, pretty nice. Uh, just depending on uh, the varieties I'm trying to use this year, just as experiments. Uh, the ghost peppers for the most part seem to be doing okay. Banana peppers are doing fine. Uh, very clearly uh, the far end down on that side there gets more sunlight or something, so they're much more happier. This end down here, at least in this section right here is just, uh, yeah, not as good as the others. So there you go, guys. That's a quick uh, mid-July update of the pepper patch out here at the uh, on the old hillside garden. I uh, hope you guys uh, liked it. Keep tuning in. We'll show you some more developments. I'm going to go ahead and pick that one ghost pepper and uh, call it a day. We'll see you next time. Bye.